the end of his life was just as he, he wanted it. Susie Flack describes the final moments of her son's life, a choice he consciously made at the age of 34 after receiving a terminal cancer diagnosis. He did manage to say, I'm happy. And, um, you know, those words and how he left um, are just comforting to me. Drew Flack was a graduate of Naperville Central High School and a special education teacher in California, a state that currently allows terminally ill adults the right to choose medically assisted death. He did come to the decision on his own. He felt that that was a very comforting option for him. The legislation in Illinois requires patients be at least 18 years old, an Illinois resident, and have a prognosis of less than six months to live. According to the advocacy group Death with Dignity, medically assisted death is currently legal in 10 states and Washington, D.C., while legislation is currently being considered in more than a dozen other states, including Illinois. I think it's bad medicine bad ethics and bad public policy. Dr. Daniel Solnacy is an ethicist, physician, and professor emeritus at the University of Chicago. It's bad medicine in the sense that it absolutely shouldn't be necessary. It's bad ethics in the sense that we should never um, uh, concede that somebody uh, has a life that's unworthy of being lived. As for the proposed public policy, Dr. Solnacy believes legalizing the practice of medically assisted death is opening Pandora's box. So once you sort of say that this is okay, it's absolutely uncontrollable. The End of Life Options Act has been introduced in the state Senate. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.